Okay, are we rolling? Um, I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> For some reason, I'm so nervous right now. I don't know how is this gonna turn out, but I guess here we are. Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I know that this is so different from the usual vlogs that I do. You're probably wondering why am I sitting down? Well, aside from I don't have upcoming or pending vlogs to edit. That's why I'm doing this. But anyways, here I am. The reason why I wanted to do this as well for myself, because as you know, just to let you guys just Huh? Just to let you guys know, I am not the best speaker out there. If you say, how am I so confident of like, you know, speaking in my vlogs, like how do I do it, this and that, but in reality, I'm really not the best speaker. I struggle communicating, I struggle voicing out my thoughts, just like literally saying out the things, <laughs> speaking verbally, if you get me. But if you just like leave me alone, let me take my own time and space and like think about it and like write it down, I could literally write an entire book for you. But yeah, here I am, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, trying to build my communication skills and speaking skills. So yeah, I'm gonna make this video very casual something just loose and free i'm my personal space right now my bed my comfy little room oh, by the way i prepared a little snack today this is like one of my favorite chips which is crisp here in the uk a so for today's video we are gonna talk about basically my life i honestly don't get like how people are interested in my life watching my videos i don't get how is that interesting or entertaining for you guys but if you do find it that way i'm really really grateful and not to mention i just hit 1.3k subscribers thank you so much that's what i've said for today's video we're gonna talk about my life here in the uk and something that i've been avoiding honestly because if you notice i don't have like q a type of videos in my channel because i look you have the thing of a fear you know when you put something out there and then no one's gonna respond i don't know it's a, i just feel so uncomfortable with that but new year i gotta just get rid of that mindset so yeah we're gonna talk about my life here in the uk or basically anything about uk in general thank you so so much to everyone who responded to my story like i appreciate it a lot okay so let's start um a couple of people were like asking how am i i'd say if i rate it from one to ten i'd say probably 7.5 i'd say i'm not the happiest I, I can't lie i'm not the happiest i really don't know how to explain myself um how are you doing yashua i hope you're doing well i am doing well i am currently on my final major project that's why i've been on and off here in my channel because i am on my finals and that's like my last final major project we only have one project for the entire school year if you don't know this is my last school year for college um i don't want to tell you guys what's my plan after my college ends i do not want to reveal it yet but soon how's the life adjustment miss you i miss you jai my adjustment has been very different from the first time i came here and from now you can just leave me alone wandering around and i can manage myself now how was your first few weeks in the uk i honestly cannot remember that was like during march 2022 i moved here and my school starts at august so that means i had like april may june july august i had like probably four to five months staying at home mostly home alone because like my parents during weekdays are at work and like i think it was really really boring wait let's connect this to another question culture shock from living in uk yeah in relation to that i had a major culture shock is it major or maybe a minor <laughs> coming from the philippines philippines is so so different from here from people to food to environment language of course during my first week here it was so silent the silence is just so loud i cannot leave myself with an environment environment being so silent like i need to play some music most of the time or like just anything watch something and i'd say the food i was really struggling with the food the foods here is so dry and like rice is really not a big thing here we don't eat rice most of the time during that time but now i do eat i really need rice because i actually lost weight when i moved here i lost five kilograms like it's really struggling 
gaining weight. I can't lie. I have to say, I do not have my appetite most of the time because like the food is just I don't know. Culture shock. I've noticed the neighbors here. Oh my gosh, the neighbors here. You do not see them. <laughs> They're all inside their houses, and like in the Philippines, especially in the afternoon, they'll be like outside sweeping, lighting up dead leaves, talking with the neighbors and all chatting, karaoke, drinking, and all of this and that. Here. You cannot see any of that. I do not know our neighbors. Um, someone asked me, "Bakit kapo biglang nag UK? Genuine tanong lang po." So I moved here because studies, maybe, but also because I have three siblings and they were like all over the place. I'm the only one like basically left at home, so I need to like obviously move with my mom. Do you have plans on doing something related to fashion during your college like internship? Yes, definitely something related to fashion and hopefully I'll be in the fashion industry because I believe that's where I belong, like in the creative field. What careers are you planning to pursue after college? Particularly fashion, branding, and communication. That's more of like the side of designing, like magazines, you know, more digital work and like editorials and stuff. I honestly don't see myself like making the actual clothes like sewing that's why i wanted to like step back on that because i'm not that confident in like creating actual garments because i do not have that much experience that's why i'm low-key intimidated of taking fashion design because like i'm just scared because i have not much knowledge in like sewing there's so much advantage if you have knowledge about it already so there's also a chance of like taking fashion design but who knows maybe uni apprenticeship internship work what do you need when you are sad definitely people or like someone to talk to i don't really like like leaving myself alone when i'm sad although before when i moved here i barely like talk about these things to someone so what i do is i journal it out and just write it is there anything you would have done differently after moving there definitely trying to connect with people like even through online i think if i've done that i would have like have friends now i don't have friends unfortunately i mean moving here made me realize the meaning of friends like you cannot call someone that you just talk to as your friend although yes i know that friend is such a basic word that you should know about but because like in the philippines like literally anyone can be your friend they're like so easy to reach out but here it's really really hard yeah they are polite they talk to you but then there's no progress to that like it just stays from that point and doesn't like continue onwards i don't know with the other people other fellows who like moved here i just don't get how is it so easy for them i don't know if it's a me problem or a them problem or if it's a both problem or maybe a place problem i do try to put myself out there and like reach out to people do you want to hang out this or that if i get rejected a couple of times i guess maybe it's time to stop that basically just means that they don't want to hang with you this summer i'm planning to like join a hip-hop dance group my way of like you know engaging with people joining the dance community i'm not really gonna answer the ones that's not related to you guys. how are you liking your major my course i'm currently taking arts and design i do enjoy it like it's so chill there's no exams no points my schedule this school year is so chill like i really love it the earliest would be like 11 a.m the rest would start at like 1 p.m until like 4 30. i am not a morning person so i struggle like getting up early um but now our schedules change we have now one class that's like literally entire day 9 a.m to 4 30 and i hate that day i can't lie let's go to mgl hello ate how does living in another country feel like what specifically in the uk are the people good and any culture shocks you've noticed as i've said it's so different it's really really different especially if you don't really have like a family member not much people that you know community basically with filipinos it's so different as it is like a second life for me like everything's really new you go back from zero are the people good <laughs> um um <coughs> so here's the tea yeah they are good i really find them polite honestly like they would like say thank you and sorry like they would even say sorry for the little thing even just like passing by they would say sorry however however some people here are really really rude i've also encountered like people who talks back behind your back i've encountered that at school 
The teachers are great though. I love my teachers. Although my classmate doesn't like my teachers, that's my point of view because I could compare it from the teachers from the Philippines. Teachers in the Philippines doesn't really care, especially for your mental health. We do not talk about that things. Last school year, I went through something big. I'd say so far that was my downest moment. They really looked into my situation and all. They even like asked me to like talk to a safeguarding team to make me feel better and all, which really helped. It, it really helped. They say they're not as that bossy from Filipino teachers. So yeah. Advice for grade 11 student who will move to London. My advice would be to just loosen up yourself really. Don't be afraid. Don't let fear stop you from doing things. You know, if there's an opportunity, you really should grab it. You know, don't be scared of like meeting new people. Don't be scared of like of what they're gonna think about you. Like literally be yourself and don't ever try to pretend someone who you're not. Put yourself out there. Don't be like me. <laughs> Meet a lot of people as much as possible that's gonna help you from adjusting here from not being lonely i'm going to move in london next next month any recos where to go i'll be honest i do not know that much in london it depends on what you like honestly because me personally i love going to like art galleries and museums definitely go to the tourist areas though i'm not really a big fan of the tourist areas elizabeth tower london eye tower bridge therefore go to chinatown I don't know, I just really enjoy Chinatown. Oh my gosh, their food, their bread. Oh, so good. So, so good. Let's talk about work. Um, work here, so easy to find and to get. Because like in the Philippines, being a working student is not that common. If you're like studying, you focus studying. And if you work, you work. Students are like mostly taken care by parents. So like they don't really like put them there. Because like our schools here, it's like you need to have work experience. If I get the chance to do this again, and if this video does go well, I wanted to like talk about, you know, the art of being alone, enjoying your own company, self-love, and insecurities, beauty standards, probably love relationship guys maybe that's something i'm scared to talk about but i'll probably give it a try my camcorder is dying right now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this is definitely a boring video but if you did enjoy and you want more episodes like this don't forget to subscribe like and go comment down below I love you so 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 much thank you so much for being here you are loved you are worthy and thank you guys so much for watching bye